I'll never truly feel like, okay, now I have made it. Now I can stop. It's gonna take such a long time for me to ever reach that satisfaction because I don't know what I would do without music. I'm very grateful to be here. And that kind of overpowers any of the negative elements that come with fame, I guess. Mental health is so important. Um, people don't pay enough mind to it because we have things to do. We have schedules, we have jobs, we have, you know, kids and places to be and pressure to fit in and f Instagram stories, whatever f you're trying to put on facade, trying to keep up. People don't pay attention to like what's happening inside. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Nice to see you. You too. Yeah. Do you like anything from my yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> yes, I'm good, thanks. All right. There's always so much focus on physical beauty and there's this standard that's set so high nowadays of like what it means to be pretty or what's beautiful or like what type of body is in or out or like you know you see it on the cover of all these magazines it's like Kim Kardashian gained weight I'm like she's pregnant good like I just got here a little while ago and I was like what's Jojo saying now I think you're asking Fifth Harmony at the time um, if they had boyfriends they might have been just doing that and one I was, yeah oh it was that, you yeah. No, I was yeah, like yeah. can't you just let the girls sing I can't I was like I you never can just let women them to work. A man. you know what it is and and there's one song on at the end of the album called Get Well Soon yeah and there's 40 seconds of silence yeah at the end of the song I wanted to uh, like kind of subliminally honor the Manchester victims. I wanted to make the length of the song five minutes and 22 seconds just as like a little way to celebrate and honor them and their lives and stuff. And sometimes you'll go like weeks at a time where you'll be like crushing it and there'll be no anxiety like you're fine blah 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 and then something will happen that can trigger it and then you have like a couple of down days you know it's just you have your ups and downs but the most important thing is to remember that you're the least alone everybody has this and talk to your loved ones reach out to people especially your friends online like reach out to each other and you know you're, there's so many people who feel that way so it's really comforting to be not afraid and reach out and talk about it people gotta be nicer when you see this shit on the news it affects you but not the same way you feel bad you tweet it you post a picture you send your condolences you say something and then you move on you know but like christmas comes and you're like thinking about it you know it's like it's like people are permanently affected by this shit and it's just like perspective it like changes everything changes your life quite a bit you know i want to use my voice to tell girls like it's okay if you feel like dressing a certain way and putting so much makeup on and doing over the top, whatever, that's great. If you feel like wearing a hoodie and no makeup and going out, that's great too. I think society 100% consistently underestimates women, especially young women, and their power and how important their voices are.